This is gonna be a quick video on how to replace a grease zerk fitting. You can see here at the very tip of this one, it's broken off so it won't take grease anymore. So I'm gonna get this cleaned out and we'll get this replaced. I'm just gonna get this cleaned out so that I can get a socket around it to get it out. Now this zerk fitting is gonna be a little bit bigger than most of the ones I have since this is on a big forestry mulcher, but the concept is the same on all of them. So this one's gonna take an 11 millimeter socket. They're all gonna be different. So make sure you use the socket that's gonna fit around it. And just a few turns, we're gonna get the zerk removed. There it is. So see how the end of it's broken off. This would no longer accept grease. So let's get this swapped out for a new one. Here's the old broken Zerk next to the brand new one. If you don't know what size it is, you can always take it into your local Napa Auto Parts store and they should be able to match it up for you. This one is an M10 by one metric taper thread fitting Zerk. All right, let's get this new Zerk put back in. It's the same as taking it out, just in reverse. It's gonna be a little tricky to get this one started because it's recessed down in here. But if I get it started there, I'm gonna use my ratchet Get it over the, over the top of it. And there we go. All right, let's put some grease in it. Got the DeWalt 20 volt greaser with the lock and lube tip. All right, and I don't know if you saw my previous video, it was a short on these grease fitting caps. They work really well, sometimes not as well when it's recessed, but there we go. We've got a replaced Zerk fitting, brand new, greased up, and now it's got a cap on it. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.